Greetings one and all, welcome to SoFlow TV again, it's your host with the most, you already know. Alright, so what I come to talk to you today about is, and I've been meaning to do this video for a long time, I'm going to try to be as eloquent as possible today, because this is not a, a dance hall thing where I'm talking about oh, alkaline bleach out in fierce or oh, uh, somebody a copy world boss or, <laughs> or you see him bought this alkaline uh, alkaline fire back with a song called something boy I, mean, I don't know um, anyway that's not what we're talking about today today we're here to talk about Bujabantan's trial and some new developments as of October this October of 2015 now these new developments could have seen Bujabantan walk out of prison and it, under normal circumstances, when this happens, the person involved that's doing prison time would normally get to go. Let me explain this to you real quick. Or let me explain this to you as clearly as possible. So I would have loved for the headline to say, uh, juror, the juror found in contempt in the Bujabantan trial, therefore Buja is allowed to walk free. That's what I was hoping to happen, but somewhere in the back of my mind, I knew this was coming. So I had to wait until proper information came up concerning the case. All right, so if you see my item look this way, that mean I'm giving you straight from the source. All right, here it goes. A Florida federal judge found the jury in Bujabantan's trial guilty of contempt for researching the case outside of court. All right. And the reason why they're not allowed to research the case outside of court is uh, once you commit to being a juror in the United States of America, you're not allowed to go and look up the case because you might find things that sway your uh, opinion as far as besides the fact you know so you, you might become biased to a certain aspect of the person's life other than just focusing on the facts of the case all right so the federal a federal judge found the juror of Bujabantan's trial guilty of contempt for researching the case outside of court usually if this happens We'll talk about that in a minute. Watch this. The juror is not allowed to research or discuss cases outside of court as this is a violation of the defendant's rights. So, I could be able to step walk this. So, the, f the federal judge found this juror guilty, right? Okay. By law, this is a violation of the defendant's rights. Right? So we can clearly say that Bujabantan's rights were violated. Correct? Walk with me. A, B, C. There's absolutely nothing Buju can do now. Believe that? There's absolutely nothing he can do now. Hear why? And watch how them trick the whole situation. Yo, them people are wicked, dog. Hey, watch this. There's absolutely nothing Buju can do now. However, because he has already agreed to drop all further appeals in exchange for this gun charge or the gun charges being dropped. Now, if you remember the case when it first unfolded, they said that they, they not only found um, drugs in the presence of Buju, but they also found a uh, firearm. They had charged Buju with a uh, firearm possession or possession of a firearm. And I, I guess I'm guessing because Apparently the firearm was not registered and licensed to Buju, but it was found in his possession. So, them people here, been have, they, they been had this juror under investigation, okay? And this juror is, was investigated by an independent federal investigator and found guilty by a federal judge, okay? They had him under investigation a long time ago. He was already suspected. He or she was already suspected. I'm going to show you how I know it's a he. But was already suspected of violating uh, Bujabantan's rights during the process of the trial. 
right? So much so to the fact that he himself ended up having a trial recently in front of a federal judge and was found guilty. All right. But right before they came down with his guilty verdict, the juror's guilty verdict, they pushed Bujabantan and they said, look, you've been fighting us. You've been fighting us for year after year after year. Okay, with your high-powered Harvard lawyers and so on and so forth. Buju had the resources to fight, the finances to fight. So Buju was fighting. He was spending his money on good attorney from Harvard University to fight his case. Okay, the they got tired of it. They said, look, we have a gun charge against you still. Okay, and what we can do is we can make the gun charge go away. You just do time. For the drug charge since you're already found guilty and we will throw away the gun charge or you can continue to fight us and take it to court and if you get found guilty we'll add an extra five years to the ten years you're already serving so would you look on the thing and say uh all right that's for the gun charge since me already do five years and change i will just do the rest Right? Married the five and a half years. I will do the next four years and four and a half or whatever and get up out of here. So under that, they suspended our throw away the gun charge. And right after them throw away the gun charge and come out with this juror found guilty of after Buja Dunn already say, Oh, under the agreement that he will stop fighting the case and whatever is there in front of him, meaning in other words, cut it short. Yo, me just I got do me 10 years and no matter what else come up, I will not fight it. I will just do my 10 years straight and get out. All right. So after that now, they come forward with this information. The juror was found guilty. Okay. There's absolutely nothing that Buju can do now. Right? Sad situation. The Tampa, Tampa Bay Times reported that Terry Wright was given, and the man's name is Terry Wright, which is the juror, was given five months probation. So he was guilty enough to get five months of probation and ordered to do 40 hours of community service and research and write a paper on the cost to taxpayers of a six day trial by Judge James S. Moody. That was the juror's punishment recently. Oh boy. So, See, I, uh, people are saying that Bujo's lawyers should have advised him against saying, okay, throw out the gun charge, I won't fight it. But you got to understand that when a man doing 10, he's not trying to hear five more got added to the 10, especially if him done past half of that 10 already. If him did get the five there added, and knowing how these people are, they'll probably take him to court and make sure he was guilty and add back 10. So you can imagine you get sentenced to 10 years. You're halfway through your sentence. You say, yes, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Now I'm going home in five. And boom, then pull up a gun charge and say, okay, you got guilty of the gun charge now on top of uh, the drug charge. So now you have an extra five. So you're right back to doing 10 again halfway through. That can be extremely depressing. So Buja said, and based on his agreement, good or bad, it is what it is. And I guess under their laws, he cannot do anything about it. Even though it's clear that his right was violated during the process of his trial. It's sad. Huh. Maybe the federal prosecutors knew there was a good chance that this juror would be found guilty of contempt which is why they hurried and got Bujabantan to sign the deal for no further appeal exchange in exchange for the gun charges being dropped. All right. Bujabantan lawyers should have been more knowledgeable and should have advised Bujabantan against such a deal. At the same time, Bujabantan had previously refused a plea deal that would have had him serving less time than he currently is now. So, maybe he did not want to risk even more time should the gun charges stick. Now, the only plea deal I know that Buju 
refuse and it's the reason why he got a full 10 is because they asked for other names and connections and Buja said him not fling nobody under the bus so they said okay we're well, gonna give you the full mandatory 10 had Buju say cooperated and say okay may I give you two names or two big fish where you can go look for or one they probably would have given Buju about five years all right so the Tampa Bay reported the Tampa Bay Times reported that Wright well, Wright a member of the panel convicted Buju Banton that is the juror a member of the panel convicted Buju Banton in 2011 on drug charges spoke to a Miami New Times reporter about her jury experience so is a woman in the interview she told reporter Chris Sweeney about going to her car after court writing down notes and then doing research at home that means that she researched at home and she says uh, the gay rights community or the LGBT community and gay activist people are strongly against Buja Bantan um, Boom Bye Bye song and she see that they were riled up and they were still against him or they had grown new hatred for him uh, in recent times who knows she might have had a gay son a couple of gay friends she decided um, she had to act in their honor so no matter what she hear in the case would not matter because her mind would have already been made up and this is the reason why jurors are not allowed to do any of this while deliberation is going on okay Sweeney later wrote a story that said Wright may have violated a judge's order for a juror not to research the case while the trial was ongoing the story led federal prosecutors to charge Wright with contempt of court. Bujabantan is serving a 10-year sentence on drug-related charges in a privately run prison in McRae, Georgia. All right, people. So, on top of that, hear this. Privately run prison. You would think prison would belong to the government, right? And it was the government's way of using an institution to correct people and, and to rehabilitate criminals and put them back out into society as rehabilitated individuals who have paid their uh, costs or their time for their crime and are uh, suited now to return to society mm -mm. see in america the prisons are privately owned now which means if i have enough money i can actually buy a prison and run it like a grocery store or run it like a warehouse that mean I just bought a prison right if, if people go into business what do they go into business for straight to the point why would anyone go into business people don't just go into business for fun people go into business for profits so these people that privately own prisons they're doing this for profits that means if there aren't enough criminals out there they will find criminals that's why you find people getting locked up in Florida and end up getting shipped all the way to California or getting shipped all the way to way upstate New York they get shipped all the way across the country because they have to fill these private prisons so what will happen is you get locked up in say Miami right the prison that you're locked up in in Miami is overcrowded now this new prison just opened in Poughkeepsie New York way upstate in the Catskills Mountains and the snow the guy who owned that prison there, I could do some networking and find out which prisons are overcrowded and he's going to make an offer. Hey, the government is paying $30,000 a year to host or to keep one man in a prison. So here's what you can do because you're overcrowded. I'm going to give you 10 grand and you give me that man there or you give me 10 of your guys, right? I'm going to give you 10 grand or I'm going to give you $30,000, 10 grand a piece and you send me 10 guys. And that way you're filling your store and how you're gonna make money off of your store or your goods in your store now is the government is going to give you 30 G's a year 25 to 30 G's a year to go look it up I'm, I'm not making nothing up to actually house these guys so if may have 10 man lock up in a prison 
I mean, I get $30,000 a year for 10 people. That's, how much money is that? All right. So prison is big business and Budger is currently locked up in a privately owned prison in Georgia. It is sad to see that there was a jury misconduct in conviction in convicting Bujo, but because of some agreement he signed, he can't do anything about it. As Capitan said, Babylon, I use them brain through them one to get the youths them to go down the drain. All right. It's SoFlo TV, man. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We still have free Bujo Bantan. We know he'll be home and we know he'll be greater than ever. Watch this. There's a picture here where you can see Budja performing while in prison. Apparently Apparently Budja is there writing a lot of songs as far as we've heard. He's writing a lot of music. So you know see some fire a come out. And he's performing with musicians. So the man now losing voice. My practice. He's honing his craft. So he's only gonna be better. I can't wait to see this. And don't forget. Which is a top tier musician, so much to the tune that he was awarded a Grammy the same year, the same time. Matter of fact, he was awarded the Grammy uh, while out on bail pending this case and then got called back in and locked up. It's SoFlo TV. You already know what to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. People, thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for the thumbs up. And keep leaving your comments and let's having some intellectual discussions about things that really matter to us and even the things that don't matter so much. One love. Peace.